in this video we are going to uh, use fetch underscore data set method and what we are going to do is we are going to fetch kdd cup 99 data set from scale learn library and then we are going to examine the samples and features and we are trying and there is also a question on finding unique values of the label and verifying there is a class imbalance or not so first and foremost what we'll do is from sklearn.datasets let's import or yeah let's import fetch underscore kdd cup 99 and here um, let's say kdd data is equal to I'm going to use this fetch underscore I'm going to use the variable kdd and I'm going to get the required data then what I'll do is I'll try to see what is the type of kdd the type of kdd is sklearn.utils.punch now what I'll do is I'll say kdd of data and see what happens so this is this is same as this is same as kdd dot data I'll show you kdd dot data the same as this so let's choose one over the other so let's say kdd dot data and I'm going to assign this to variable X and kdd dot uh, target and this is a target so the label values of the label are such we can clearly say that this is not a regression data this would be classification data and I'm going to assign variable y to it and also I can use a property called feature underscore names and I'm going to use it okay sorry on kdd on kdd I can use it not on x so on kdd if I use feature underscore names property look at these are all the features there are so many features in this data set and then if I use kdd da, dot target names I'm not sure if I get it or not but let's try I'm not going to get so probably what I can do is if I want to know what are the values of the y I'll say I can use two methods one method is set of y which would give me the unique values of variable y so these are all the unique values of variable y okay so why don't we look it as a data frame first and then go further in answering if the data is a imbalance or not so we fetch the data set from SQL library we have examined the samples and features we have uh, we, we have determined the unique values of the label so set of set of x comma y is unique values of variable we are yet to determine if there is class imbalance present on it or not verify if there is a class imbalance or not in terms of label okay so we have done this so let's also see another way to check the unique values let's import numpy as np then we'll uh, say np dot unique and we'll say y let's see what happens so these are all the unique values that we got so you can also do np dot unique of y to get unique values or you can use set of y so also let's say if I say np dot unique and 
y and return underscore counts is equal to true then I can save the names as well as count to two variables so let me check let me check the parameter by the name return underscore count if I am correct or wrong return underscore counts okay it's return underscore counts so what happens here is when I run this okay and if I check if I see what the names are I'll get all the names and if I see what the counts are uh, sorry count it is count so what the counter so B black ha there are 2203 B black Okay, the count of B black is 2203 in the entire data frame. Then similarly, all these things correspondingly, they are present. So let me join this. So what I'll do is uh, np dot as array, I can use this as a tuple with the names and count. And I can transpose this for readability and see what happens. See. I got this uh, simple thing which says like the label names the values of the label names and the respective and the respective values so if by observing this by observing this we can clearly see we can clearly say that there is a class imbalance so for example this class B smurf has got so many values and some of the values like B LAN, B load modu module are like very low in number. So there is definitely class imbalance. Now you can also do a data frame and view it. So, so we can we can conclude it by just seeing this when we did np dot as using np dot as array method. But uh, let's see, let's create a data frame. So what am I telling is, uh, what, I, what we'll do is, let's see what kind of, what type of, uh, what is the type of names. It's an umpire array. What is the type of uh, count? It's a numpy array, I guess. So you have two numpy arrays, you can create a data frame. Right, so what you'll do is df1 is equal to pd dot data frame, and you'll say uh, names, right? With column columns is equal to we'll say classes. And we'll check df first five rows of this data frame using df1.head. These are all the classes, okay? And then you create another data frame df2 is equal to pd dot data frame with the count and columns is equal to. Simply counts. Okay. And we would like to check the first five rows of this data frame. Okay. Once I got these two data frames, what I can do is I can concatenate using concat. And let me create a list here. Sorry. Let me create a list by the name frames which has df1 and df2 and I'm going to concatenate this frames and I'm going to assign it to some df data frame and I'm going to check the first five rows of this.
okay and uh, I have to use axis is equal to 1 to concatenate side by side otherwise it will concatenate one after the other okay now let's remove the head and just run df okay now clearly now clearly you can see that there is a class imbalance these are the classes and there are some classes which are of low number then there are some classes with uh, exorbitantly high numbers so there is a class in balance so this is how you can verify it also also one other way of verifying the class imbalance is visual so let's what we'll do is let's import matplotlib uh, by plot as plt then let's use plt dot hist by plotting a histogram on variable y and let's see what happens there you go there are so many there are so many classes which are in single digits and there are like few classes which are really very high there's a huge class in balance so what we have done so far in this video is we have used fetch method and we have uh, fetched a data set by the name kdd cup 99 and uh, we have uh, fetched it to a variable called kdd and the type of that is sklearn.utils.bunch and we have used something called as data dot data it's not a property but it's uh, you know you are fetching the data or converting the sklearn's utils bunch to an array by using this dot data so you fetch that numpy array and you save it to variable x you fetch that target and uh, uh, save it to variable y and then you can have you have certain properties called feature underscore names where you get all the feature names and then you can determine the unique classes by saying set underscore set of y or you can use np dot unique of y you will get the value uh, unique values of that particular variable y but if you want to know the number or the count you can use a np dot unique and make the parameter return underscore counts is equal to true and there you have to save it to two variables and then we have got two arrays of names and count names being the unique values and count being the number of counts of those respective unique values or unique value classes and then you have used np.as array to join these two arrays and transpose it for readability and go found out the values the, all the classes unique classes and the respective counts of the classes in the variable y now this is very much readable and you can determine if there is gas imbalance or not we also did another method of making a data frame so what we did is we know that names is a uh, numpy array so we can convert a numpy array to a data frame and count is also a numpy array and we can convert the numpy array into a data frame using pd.data frame that's what we did and then we concatenated these two data frames to make a single table wherein you can clearly see it and determine if there is a class imbalance or not you can also visually view the data and determine if it, there is a class imbalance or not how are you going to do we are going to use uh, plt which is we have imported matplotlib.pyplot as plt and simply say plt.hist and the variable name as a parameter input and you get a histogram and clearly visually we can see that there is a class in balance